Hey there, garden friends. Welcome to the garden once again. Uh, today we're talking all about growing strawberries, specifically growing strawberries uh, elevated off the ground and in containers. Uh, we got a great little system here. This is an update. We did a video in the recent past where we kind of talked about what we did here, how we built it. But what's great about this is each plant has its own separate container. They're all hooked to drip. Uh, it's been going for a few months now, not that the temperatures are getting a little bit warmer, the days are getting a bit longer, the strawberries are starting to take off. So I kind of wanted to show you uh, how they look and what we've been doing to keep them looking healthy and the things that we're gonna continue to do to keep them looking healthy. Strawberries are heavy feeders. They take a lot of nutrition out of the soil and these plants being kind of uh, confound to these small containers relatively, um, they're gonna be absorbing, hey there, they're gonna be absorbing a lot of nutrition out of that soil. So we're gonna talk about how we're gonna keep them fed because we wanna have lots and lots and lots of strawberries to eat and enjoy. The students I know are eager. They've been plucking them off and eating them <laughs> basically as they're green and white, they, maybe even light pink. I think we've seen a few get light pink, but what's nice is um, on a Monday morning here, it's pretty great because um, you can see there's a lot of uh, strawberries that uh, survived the weekend and now they're actually have, they had a chance to get ripe. So without further ado, let's take a look about at these strawberries, how we grow them. Let's take a look. See the, from the last pictures till now, the plants have grown quite a bit. Um, they're actually been taking off. We've been nipping off a lot of the runners uh, for a while there. I was even pinching back some of the flower buds to allow, you know, for more leaves and branching. Um, so that we'd have more, you know, you know, bigger, bigger plant to grow a little bit more, you know, energy when you have a lot more leaves, you can produce more fruit. But you can see right here is a runner. We've been pulling those off even still you can nip them with your fingers really quick or even better yet, you can get your, your little straight snips out and cut them out because what it is is these runners are going to be great uh, when we want more plants to take as cuttings because this will this will develop. There'll be a nice you know, you see a nice plant develop on the end and then you can take that and replant it. But we don't want that right now. That's not really what we're after. We want lots of fruit. So you can see actually uh, some of the fruit is on its way. Um, it's looking pretty good. Um, you can even see some of these older leaves, right, that have been there for a while. Now they're getting shaded out just like the runners, just like the runners get nipped out. These leaves get removed as well. Right. And so we want more airflow. We want more light penetrating through um, for the healthy leaves. So you can see down here, same thing. We've been pulling those off um, and you can see nice, this nice, beautiful fruit developing. Everything here we do, of course, is organic. So uh, we've been fertilizing them uh, with a nice tomato vegetable food, an, an organic variety. We've been even doing some liquid fertilizer with some fish emulsion and sea kelp. Um, that's been really good, too. And so we're going to continue to do that about every four weeks or so. We're going to keep them fed up. Um, and then with that uh, granulated fertilizer, the organic, but we're also going to do the liquid organic uh, every four weeks as well and kind of have them tandem every two weeks spread out because uh, these plants are going to be feeding heavily off the soil and taking a lot of nutrition uh, with them as they grow and produce more fruit. And so it's good for us to actually just keep them fed. Um, like I said, especially when we do organics, we kind of have to be consistent about it and just slowly build up the little, the nutritional levels in these these pots because uh, they're going to suck it up pretty quick um, so for us it's been really good you can see the, the growth is fantastic as i mentioned we have an irrigation system nice drip tube in there with well, one dripper on each side um, we've, i've been trying to balancing out the timer it comes on for a very short period because i don't like to have too much water dripping out the bottom just enough to know um, to see that they're actually getting saturated and so it actually comes on three times a day in the morning for just a few minutes each time it's on a solar powered timer and it also shares uh, the timer with the succulent wall back over there so here you can see some of that growth we actually have two main varieties uh, the ones here you see in front of us that's Albion which is just a fantastic uh, strawberry variety they, they grow really fast big big juicy berries um, and they're great. The top level over there is one called Eversweet. So you can see the plant as it looks a little bit different in its uh, shape and even the leaf color. And even, um, so we'll see, we'll see how the fruit develops. Looks really good. They're, they're actually, I think they had a slower start, but they're gonna have a really strong finish because you can see all the flowers that are there. Every single flower will be a strawberry that we can enjoy. So we're looking forward to that one. That's the Eversweet. So for us, like I said, the Albions have been really um, dependable you can see that the growth difference here's a good example these albions down here were actually planted uh about a week or two after these ones up here so you can see that even though they got planted later they actually took off quicker however look at all the blossoms on here and look at the fruit coming so uh and i'll be able to maybe ooh, let me try one of these right now before the kids get here i usually let them enjoy it but 
Oh my gosh, that is so good. That is so good. Okay, wow. You can see there's a lot more coming, so I'll let them wait. So you see the shape's a little different. Look at this Albion down here. Looks like an apple. So I can't wait for some of the kids. I'm gonna have to like uh, tell them to ration because uh, the first student who get here is gonna probably wanna fill up their coat with all these strawberries. But for us, like I said, it's keeping them watered. They, they wanna stay irrigated. These containers, as it warms up, they're gonna be drinking quite a bit. But with that said, um, if you're just sitting there keeping them soaked and I'm watering them, never letting them have a chance to drink that water or to let it drain out, that wouldn't be ideal either. So good draining pots, good draining soil. We're keeping that soil fed with organic fertilizer. We've actually been trying to keep an eye out for bugs. So uh, I think I mentioned this in the video back, we actually, every post is covered in tanglefoot. So that way the ants, you can see the bugs and stuff that try to crawl up, uh, they get caught in that. And so they can't go further because ants are a big problem for us. We've grown strawberries in the past. They'll colonize these pots and hang out in the root near the roots of these plants. And then they bring in aphid and, you know, white fly and other sap sucking insects that really do a lot of the bulk damage to our plants out here. So we, we want to keep the ants away, keep all those other critters away. And so that, that has been helping with us, uh, the tanglefoot on these posts, been really good for us. Weeds haven't really been an issue. Uh, I don't think I've even seen any really come up in the pots yet. I'm sure it will happen, but we'll just pull those um, as needed. So, um, but really just keeping the weeds, keeping the bugs, keeping the plants fed, keeping them watered, just checking that irrigation system. So you can see right here how that tube's utilized. It just goes up the back and then they each get some water. And I gave them two, one on each side, so that way the root ball could get access to water on either side. Look at this strawberry right here, holy smokes. I'm about to auction that one off for good behavior. Um, but for us, it's just, it's just a matter of just keeping them healthy all around, just all around good health, good soil, lots of sunshine, like I said, um, they were growing and coming up pretty nice, but it was just the temperature was so cool that they really weren't taking off. And now that we've been having a little bit warmer temperature, um, they've, they're really responding in kind and just starting to go just crazy good um, with their health. Um, and so it just works out really good for us. You can see, like, as I mentioned, sorry to swirl you around, uh, here is our uh, succulent wall, but the timer just looks like this. Comes off of the spigot. It just has a little solar panel that charges it just just enough I have a little timer in there I can adjust it when the, when it, if I want to do a manually I can just click that on but um, really easy to deal with actually you think it'd be hard but I feel like the more you play with it it becomes kind of self-evident and isn't too difficult so for us a few, few different times a day in the morning time usually that's how I like it like a nice in the morning when temperatures are kind of uh, rising the Sun is coming up the plants have a chance to kind of get that water drink through the day um, suck it up and then they'll get they'll get replenished in the next morning uh, I don't like having midday waterings or coming out because these tubes can get really hot um, with water just resting in there and so that's not ideal but but that's our strawberry gardens for right now we actually have a few more behind me but I'm not gonna actually I'll just show you really quick so you can see so we actually have some in fabric pots as well up on up on these bricks and, and uh, on these boards but they're actually doing killer as well this, this ones have actually been here for a few years so uh, kind of nice to see them taken back off again but they're the same thing just good soil good fertilization you know keep an eye out for the bugs if there is bugs you know we'll use some neem oil or some sex settle soaps as needed um, but for us we have actually haven't had too many problems um, so far because it's early in the season but uh, it's great look at this it's just behind our fence here and they're growing and they're loving this heat they're loving the Sun so we're just gonna keep an eye on them and I cannot wait to uh, do an update video when we do a full harvest and show you some of the things that we've uh, maybe make and eat <laughs> with these strawberries. But me personally, I like to just eat them fresh. They're so dang good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'd love to have you back for more. If you've been watching this long, I thank you for hanging out. But really, I also hope you're, you're growing some strawberries. If you haven't ever grown strawberries before, I highly um, would, would, would highly recommend it. They're a fantastic plant to grow. If you have uh, ground space, you can grow them in ground just fine. They do wonderfully in ground, but also they do great in containers. You know, you can see we've, it's really just a matter of giving them just enough good soil. This is probably about the, the minimum you could really get away with. Any smaller of a pot and you'd be really battling um, watering and fertilizing and even still, we, we kind of battle that here. So once it gets really hot, it's gonna be um, a concern for us. So we'll have to you know deal with that. but. Now, you know, make sure you give them just a good enough, good soil, good well-draining pot, uh, lots of sun. Give each plant plenty of space. So these were all tiny little plants individually, but now they each have their own space, just enough room. 
for them to really do well because you want airflow you want them to have space just like us they need a little bit of space to really flourish and then once they have those things you know rich you know fertilization um, for us we really you know prefer the organic style and then you just keep an eye out for bugs you know aphid white fly um, stuff like that you know are really gonna be your your biggest ones and then you know just keep an eye out but uh strawberry growing absolutely worth it we'll see you next time garden friends